Good evening class, this is Mrs. Albright and tonight we're working on Module 5, Lesson 24 and our objective is to learn how to decompose and compose fractions greater than 1 to express them in various forms. So get your whiteboard or your scratch paper so we can get ready to get started. So all the fractions we're working with tonight are greater than 1. So here we have the fraction 3 thirds and I know it's greater than 1 because the numerator is 7 is greater than the denominator. So if I were to put this on a number line starting at 0, I could say 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds, which is equal to 1 whole, two, uh, 4 thirds, 5 thirds, 6 thirds, 7 thirds. Now I know that groups of 3 are 1 whole, so this, those 3 thirds are 1 whole, those 3 thirds, that's 2 whole, so I can rewrite this as 2 whole and 1 third. I want you to repeat this process with 13 fifths. What would that be as a mixed number? So we want to look at that same fraction 7 thirds and think about how can we use multiplication to figure out what this would be as a mixed number how many groups of 3 thirds are in 7 thirds. So ask yourself, what can I multiply 3 by to get a number that's close to 7 without going over? And I know that I can multiply 3 by 2 to get 6. So if I take my 3 thirds and I multiply it by 2, that will give me a product of 6 thirds, which I also know is 2 whole. Now to get from 6 thirds to the 7 thirds that I started with, I would need to add one more third. So that way I can rewrite this problem as the 2 whole, because I have 2 groups of 3 thirds, and that 1 third left over. I can do that at the same way again with multiplication. Here I have 10 fourths. I want to ask myself, what can I multiply 4 by to get a number close to 10 without going over? Or another way of thinking, how many groups of 4 fourths does it take to get close to 10? I would need 2 groups of 4 fourths to get close to 10. Now I know those 2 groups, that would give me 8 fourths and I would still need two-fourths more to get to the, t the total of 10. So I can rewrite this as 2 and two-fourths, and that is equal to 10-fourths. I would like you to try it. Please convert the following improper fractions into mixed numbers using that multiplication method. 12 fifths, 26, five, 35 tenths, and 26 twelfths. Hopefully after you answered this one for 12 fifths, you would say I have two groups of 5 fifths. That would get me close to 12. That would take up 10 of those fifths and I would have two fifths left over. For B, I would have two groups, or I'm sorry, not two, three groups of 6 6, that would give me 18 6, and I would need 2 6 more to get to 26. For C, it would take 3 groups of 10 tenths, and that would get me 30 tenths, and then I would need 5 tenths more. And finally, for 26 twelfths, I would need 2 groups of 12 twelfths, and 2 twelfths more to get to 26 twelfths. So if you did not get those all right before you move on to the next quiz, go back and rewatch parts of the video so that you can get the final four correct. Here are your final four quiz questions. Rewrite these as mixed numbers, 14 thirds, 17 fourths, 27 fifths, and 28 sixths. Bring your questions back to class where we will continue working on this. Have a great night. I will see you tomorrow.